I've lived in San Francisco for almost nine years. Can you believe that? I can't believe it. That's almost a freaking decade. When I moved here back in 2012, I was wide-eyed and ready for a change. And moving from a small town in the middle of nowhere in Wisconsin, oh boy, did I get that. Since I've lived here for so long, I thought I'd share some of my thoughts around what it's been like living here over the years. Has San Francisco changed? Has it stayed the same? We'll talk weather because weather is important, housing, making friends, culture, career, and in general, what to do. First things first, it's San Francisco or SF or the city, but it is not San Fran. It's just, it's just not. It's also not Frisco. If you use either of these terms with a local, they will stare you down and judge. I'm kidding, but also I'm not. If you're moving to San Francisco, get with the program. And if you're coming to visit and want to get that local experience, don't worry, I got you. You now know what's up. Now that that's out of the way, let's jump into it, starting with weather. I believe the weather has both changed and hasn't over the years. From what I remember from my first few years of living here, we used to get a ton of rain. And I remember this vividly because I would take the bus to school and have all of my art supplies and projects and it would be pouring down and I would be scrambling to get it all there without being drenched. More recently, we have clearly been in a drought. It's pretty bad. On the rare occasion it does rain in our rainy season, which is during the winter months, I get caught in it because I don't even think to look at the weather. But besides that, SF weather has still pretty much remained the same, which is to say, you can pretty much wear whatever you want all year round, as long as you bring layers. Also, no humidity, which is completely opposite of Wisconsin, and my hair has done so much better out here. Our hottest months are in August and September, which I love as a September baby. Housing has been pretty consistently challenging over the nine years since it's been consistently expensive. Only recently did prices finally start to drop since there were lots of people leaving SF during the pandemic, which shifted the market. Since things are opening back up again, I predict the prices may start to go back up, but we'll see. I'm actually going to be making a whole other video about my experience finding my four different San Francisco apartments over the last nine years. Once it's up, I'll link the video in the description. But hey, while we're on this topic, if you're here for this type of content, make sure to also subscribe to stay up to date when I post new videos to my channel. How about friends? I think one of the most challenging parts of moving in general is making new friends. But I think for young adults living in San Francisco, there are so many ways to make friends. When I moved here, I was still in school, so a lot of the people I was hanging out with initially were my art school friends. I also did a few tech internships, and especially with my internship at Yelp, I made so many friends with the other interns. I'd say a lot of people make friends with their coworkers here, but there's also a ton of sports leagues, both competitive and not, where people meet. When it's not COVID times, there's also so many meetups and events to meet people at, and then of course, there's tons of bars. Each neighborhood has its own going out scene, and it's a good time. For culture, I think it's been pretty consistent. The city tends to lean left, politically speaking. Tech and entrepreneurship has made a large impact on the city's energy, and there's lots of amazing neighborhoods which cultivate their own awesome spirit. Some of my favorites to call out would be The Mission, Japantown, Hayes Valley, Coal Valley, Pack Heights, Russian Hill, The Castro, The Hate, and The Marina. Make sure to do your research on neighborhoods before visiting or moving here so you learn how to spend your time depending on what you're looking for. I found San Francisco to be a very careers focused place. That has not changed and I'm still living in it as I film this video. Moving here made such a huge positive impact on my career and I'm so grateful for just everything I've learned. That being said, being in a hyper-focused career city also has its challenges. It can feel competitive, it can feel like you're not doing enough, or you're consistently comparing yourself to someone who's freaking killing it and they're significantly younger than you. That all to say, I think it's about how you decide to show up and navigate these challenges. I've learned a lot from the process and I'm so proud with how far I've come in my career and life. To close things out, let's talk about a few more things that people do in San Francisco for fun. When I first moved here, I didn't know anyone, but what I did know is that I loved playing basketball, so that's what I did. I played a lot of basketball when I first moved here. I was in six leagues at one point. I think I only did that once though, because that that was a lot. But anyway, there are so many great places to play basketball in the city. I've even written a whole article around where the best places to play basketball are in SF, which I will link in the description below. In general though, sports leagues are pretty big. There's lots of people playing soccer and volleyball, and it's a great way to work out and make friends. Besides that, there's so much good food. I don't even really know where to start. So many unique flavors and experiences. And anyway, if you need any recommendations at all about where to eat or drink, drop me a comment with what you're looking for and I'll do my best to get back to you with some recommendations. 
SF is also a huge park city. There are so many wonderful parks. I've pretty consistently spent a lot of time at Dolores Park. It's probably my favorite park here. On the weekends, it gets packed with people who are out for a good picnic and just an overall great vibe. Golden Gate Park is also very popular and also very huge. <laughs> Another great park is Alamo Square. That's where the famous painted ladies can be seen. Anyway, parks have always been a big thing here and they are here to stay. And I think that's going to wrap up what it's been like living in San Francisco nine years later. If you don't know me, I'm Alexa, and on this channel, I usually make videos about design, careers in tech, and what it's like living in San Francisco. But I've just dropped some big news in a previous video, which is I just, I bought a house, <laughs> and it's in San Diego. So anyway, I'm headed that way now. I love SF, but I'm now super excited for this new adventure, and I'm going to be taking my knowledge of design and career with me. So if you're interested in any of this, I'd love for you to be a subscriber and follow along as I make new videos. So I hope to see you in that next video. Bye.